Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an API resource with an open API specification. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on API Gateway that is to create an API resource with the API description. As the description says, we can now import the API description from a file which is written in supported language that is open API specification 2.0 and 3.0. So we are going to make use of the console and create the API resource with the help of open API specification file. I will provide the link for this documentation in my blog. Please check out the blog for more details. Now we'll directly go to Oracle Cloud Console and start with the hands-on. I have logged into my Oracle Cloud tenancy. The first thing we need to make sure is we need to have API gateway created. If not, you can create a gateway. If you don't know how to create an API gateway, we have covered in detail video on this. Please check out the video. The link is in card section. Now we will export the open API specification in a YAML file first. With the help of this swagger editor, go to file and click on this save as YAML. So this has downloaded .yaml file into your local machine. We have to switch over to APIs under API Gateway and click on this Create API. Here we have to provide the name. I am giving the name as ABC Company API. We have to select the compartment and select the YAML file which we just now downloaded. Click on this Browse and select the file. I have selected the .yaml file which I had exported from my Swagger editor. Now once done, click on this Create API. You will get a message on the right top corner saying API ABC company API is being created. We need to wait for some time until this validation turns to valid. Yeah, as you can see, this has turned to valid. Let me refresh the page. Once you refresh the page, you will see the deploy button over here. We need to click on this deploy button. Before clicking, we can just verify the YAML content, what it has imported from our open API specification. This looks good. What we see in our Swagger editors, same thing. Like we are having a post method under products category or the tag. Again, all those things I have covered in a separate videos. Please check out our playlist on open API. You will learn how to create this open API specification in detail step by step. Now I'm going to click on this deploy button. Under the gateway, we have to select the gateway. As I discussed at the beginning of this video, we need to create a gateway. As I have only one gateway created that is api functions i'm selecting that now we have to provide the basic information a name i'm providing the name abc company api path prefix it's asking i'm giving slash abc once done click on next if you have any other api request policies you can attach over here be it for authentication course rate limiting or any other and the logging level as well click on next here as you could see it is showing as a stock response because in my open api specification i have not mentioned about the servers if you mention the endpoint or the server details it will update accordingly like with the help of this http now it is showing the stock response for more details what is stock response you can check out this link wherein oracle has described in detail what is the stock response and why it is being used once you are satisfied with the details over here you click on next also all the route details it is similar to what we see in the swagger editor over here on the right side it's the same thing. Once done, click on this create button. It will deploy our API. As you could see, the status is showing as creating. We'll pause this video for some time and we'll resume once our API is deployed and is in active state. Our API has got deployed and it is now in active state. As you could see, we, we are seeing the endpoint over here. We copy this endpoint. Go to Postman or any other tool and we have to provide the endpoint or the route i am giving here a product and clicking on the send button this seems to be okay let me change the method to get as we have a get method as well over here one is a post slash products and the get another is product and with the path parameter so uh, we are giving this as of now, you can see that we are getting nothing in spite of having this status as 200. This is because we are not deriving the data from any endpoint. As I told, I have not mentioned any server details over here in the open API specification. Neither after importing, I have mentioned the endpoint details. The type selected in the route is stock response. Now we'll modify that. First of all, I'm copying this from here. 
go to our deployment details click on this edit button over here and click on next we have to search for the route which we are consuming right now it is a get and slash products here under body i am pasting the sample response click on next and click on save changes under the word work request you will see the work request done for this deployment i have updated the route information that is the body content it is showing as accepted now let me refresh this yeah our changes has been deployed successfully now i will test this again from postman click on send now you can see the response that is sample response what i had copy pasted in api gateway this is just for the mocking purpose i have placed it in a real life scenario you, you will be invoking any endpoint or oracle function and getting the details and displaying over here so like this we can create an api resource with the help of open api specification please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video